Hey guys, it's finally time. It's 6 p.m. Check got revealed. Just now, 50 seconds ago, I'm super hyped to react to him. I'm not even sure what he's gonna do. Probably something with coins, maybe something with like self damage. I have no idea, but I'm just super hyped for this new LOR exclusive champion. I don't wanna waste any more time. He's probably Bilge Water, support cards were from Bilge Water, so no Rune Terra champion this time. All right. Let's check him out. Oh, he looks so badass. I, I love it already. Oh, his voice. I've come a long way for a fight. All right, the new keyboard brash. Obviously he had it and his package. So let's see. Jack is a four man of four, five. Okay, really good stat line with brash as except, uh, expected. Strike, create a coin in hand. So he, he is about brash and coins. Okay. Makes a lot of sense. You have spent 12 plus mana in one round. <laughs> you Okay, okay. So you have to level him with coins or like super, super hard in the late game if you don't play coins, but who plays check world coins? So, okay. Kind of interested in how early, like what's the earliest turn that you could level check here? 12 plus mana. Interesting, interesting. So in his package, the support cards, there was a new card, the knuckle card, which uh, when you summon it, you create another four cost in hand. And when you summon that, you create a six cost card in hand. And that's exactly 12 mana. So, all right, uh, let's see what it's about. Especially when he's leveled up. God be king with that breaking of new bones. There's an animation, nice. What? Looks like you need a lesson in fashion and fighting. If only you had something to teach me. Let's What's that card? Show, eh? Did someone bust up your teeth, or have you always been that ugly? Yard. No flesh, no fight. Curious what that card was. Get your wee bahuchi over here, Jack. Wait, that was a Pablo. I want to see that card. Get your Five punch Pablo, three mana four one a tune. When I'm summoned, create a fleeting prize fight in hand. So I don't know what a prize fight is, but I love that card already. What's a prize fight? Oh, that's a card that got played before. Okay. An ally and an enemy strike each other. They can't drop below one half from this strike. Wait, that is so cool. A swan mana serial com combat from Bilgewater, but that can't kill each other, you just damage. That is super interesting. I wonder how good that is. I guess it's good to create coins because he strikes, uh, he get creates a coin when he strikes. So that's interesting. Come on, do your worst. That's probably just a way to create more coins. Super cool. Oh, no animation, sadly. <laughs> Looks like someone's gotta teach you some manners. Deal two to a unit. If it kills it, create two coins in hand. Jack's risky venture. Three mana slow speed. That is a really good champion spell. That is a really, really good teach champion spell. Set. I'll teach the fighter. We're playing by my rules. My little protege, come for a bit of bloodletting. <laughs> you little what? Shut up, Jack. <laughs> what is the boy? Little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is a fight. Right, the level up. More. Kill time. Beat him down. Make him bleed. Never Yo. He just slams into the ground and he's fighting Seth. That is so cool. In Seth's level up, you see him like coming down to the arena fighting Jack, and in Jack's level up, you see them just fighting. That's so cool. The four mana 5 6 Overwhelm and Brash. Strike, create two coins in hand. When you refill mana, grant me plus one, plus zero for each mana refilled. Okay, so that's like the two mana follower card they revealed yesterday. So that only counts for cards that truly refill mana, like Flash of Brilliance or the coins. Doesn't like count if you get spell mana or like normal mana at round starts. That is super interesting. 
So he just grows and grows, it's grand. And then he just finishes with his overwhelm and he just creates two coins per strike. That is so interesting and super cool, honestly. I like it. That is a cool design. Champ. Yeah, because I never heard of you. I like it. Fight me! I'll take on the lot of you! Anyone bit against me? No? And just like that, we showed him his boss. Yo, nice. Okay, let's look at these cards. So, yeah, check. Having Brash and Owen on the level 2, being like a finisher, because he keeps growing the more coins you use. That is such a cool design. And this set line for a 4-drop is amazing. That is really, really good. And you need like f uh, 3 or more health to block him even. So he probably doesn't have a hard, st a hard time striking, especially with this Mon Mana prize fight card. That is so cool. His signature spell is super good in my opinion. Like, getting rid of a, a unit while also creating two coins, but only if you kill a unit, is probably really, really good. So, the 5 punch Pablo is a 3 mana 4 1 with a tune. So, basically, it's 2 mana if you get the spell mana banked, and it creates the, the strike card for check or something else. That is so cool. <laughs> I like Pablo. Does this mean the, the other Pablo card is getting rotated? Nah, I don't think so. Hopefully. Okay. The Barnacles card. I saw the card yesterday and I think that card is super busted. I think it's too strong. It's probably getting nerfed. I might be wrong, but it just feels super strong. But it's a really cool card. <laughs> and, and the name, the Barnacles. <laughs> With the art. It, it's great. And then with like Knuckle, Mako, and Bull, like the, the follower, the, the, like the Knuckle card creates Mako, Mako creates Bull. Uh, it's 12 mana overall, you need to play these with coins. And then the, the last card, which my cam is uh, hiding, so let me turn off my cam real quick for that one. The King's Court, 7 mana, 7 5, a tune and brash. When you summon an ally, create a fleeting prize fight in hand. When an ally survives damage, granted brash. Okay. I, I thought this was gonna be like a check boat. But that is also a really interesting design. So you keep creating these prize fights and give you all of your units the, the keyword, the, the new one, the brash. Interesting design, the king's court. I like it. I like it, I like it. <laughs> Probably not the best card, but. Really, really cool design in my opinion. So, yes. Interesting. So, he's not like a self-damage archetype like the follower check. I'm interested if like the, the follower check will still be in the, in the game if he's getting rotated or not after we get like the, the champion, the LOR exclusive champion check in the game. Interesting. It's super hard to like think which deck I want to build first because like all of these three champions are uh, looking great and fun to play. But I still think I'm gonna stick to Set as my first champion because he's my most played out of all of these three. I think I'm, I'm most hyped about Set, so that's probably gonna be my first one. But yeah, Check and Samira, second deck, obviously. Gonna try all of these decks tomorrow when the expansion releases gonna be streaming probably also even longer so hopefully you guys will join me there where we're gonna test out all these new champions and new cards gonna have a, a very good time it's gonna be super fun and yeah thanks so much for for watching and have a wonderful day